Okay, this is a quick, uh, hopefully a quick video on how to uh, publish a script. So here's a sample script that I've got here. Um, it's just very short. It's myscript.m and it starts off with display hello world. So that should be obvious what's going to happen there. And then uh, x equals lin space minus 38100. So this command uh, produces a vector between minus 3 and 8 that has 100 elements. And I need that because I'm going to plot a sine function, and so the y values here are the sine of x. And so, by the way, if the x coordinate is a vector with 100 elements, so will the y vector. And so then you plot your domain and range as shown here. So it's plot x, y, uh, and the k says to plot that in black, and then uh, the hyphen there is to have a curve. So it should be a black curve. And then the final line here is just a matrix that I just threw in here real quick. So I'm going to show you how to publish this in MATLAB and in Octave. So to publish this script in MATLAB is very easy. Uh, notice that you just have a publish tab right here. So you can just hit the publish tab. And then we can say, um, let's see, publish. Uh, oop, I'm not sure what my publishing options I better check that. Uh, my output, I would like to have it as a PDF file. Um, right now it's uh, defaulted as an HTML, so I'm going to change that to a PDF, and I'll uh, close that. Okay, now let's see if I can publish this, and hopefully a PDF file will pop up here. Still coming up. Let's see, did it show up in my download folder? Uh, no. <laughs> Where is it? Oop, let me pause and see if I can find it. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot that everything gets gets put into the, this HTML folder. <laughs> so MATLAB creates an HTML folder. And then if you uh, go into that, uh, you'll see the myscript.pdf. And this is the way MATLAB will um, publish things. Um, there's lots of different ways of typesetting in here, uh, markup, um, but we're just going to do some real basic stuff here. This is nice because it puts the commands together with the output. So here you can see the commands were listed up here, and then the three outputs. The uh, hello world is here, the output of the matrix command is here, and then the output of the plot is here, down here. It usually puts the plots at the end, um, so even though the I had the plot there uh, between these two, it chose to put it at the bottom. Okay, um, so that's MATLAB. MATLAB is pretty straightforward to use for that. Octave Online is a little bit trickier, and so let's see what happens with Octave Online. Um, in fact, I think Octave Online I'm going to have to use the HTML output. Um, so here I've got uh, MATLAB online or octave online and I've already loaded my script.m you can see that it's the same thing here and so uh, what I would do in this case is I would type in publish and then quotation marks uh, my script.m and now uh, I'm just going to use the default um, which will be HTML um, I tried using PDF I'll try to use PDF right now uh, but I got an error uh, last time yeah, I got an error here too. So I'm getting an error when I use the um, output. It's trying to use a package that it doesn't have, which is kind of a weird thing. This will, this is some kind of bug in Octave Online. So we'll just uh, use a different, uh, we'll use the uh, default command instead. Now the problem with the default is that um, it's going to put it into a folder. I'll refresh the files here, and you can see that it produced a bunch of files here under HTML. Um, but the two, th the two that we want are the HTML file, so we're going to download that. So see, what you have to do is you have to manually download like the HTML file, and then we have to uh, download the ping file. The ping file is the ping is the image file that we're going to be using in our uh, HTML file. And so notice that it also put HTML on the front, which is kind of a pain because now, <coughs> oop, let me pause for a second. Yeah, because now I've got this HTML in front of the 
commands here. I need to get rid of that. So let me uh, rename that as just my script.html. And now if you uh, open this in an editor, you'll see what the what the um, figure name is. So let's go ahead and open that just so we can see. Open with uh, gedit maybe. Yeah, so if we scroll down, we'll see uh, image source here should be my script one dot ping. Do you see that right here? Maybe hard to see. And so in this case, because it renamed the file, it's not going to know what it is. So you just have to take off that HTML again. Okay, so now if you open this up into a into a web browser, it'll show up correctly. Okay, and so once it's in your web browser, of course, now you can um, print it or print it as hard copy or print it as a P or save it as a PDF. So in my case, I I might uh, use my printer and then just use my PDF option up here. Um, save as PDF. Yeah, good. And so I would just save it that way. Good. So that's there's uh, two ways to do it. Um, I know the um, Octave Online is a little bit uh, funky. Uh, hopefully they'll get those errors ironed out, but for now uh, we just have to live with it this way. Of course, the other option is just to uh, publish uh, once you have your script file. You know, go ahead and uh, just publish it in the Olin Hall computers uh, using regular MATLAB. Okay, that's it for this video.